Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Brickloaf, and today we're looking at the Sesame Street Corner mock created on Rebrickable by the user Lois. Now this Rebrickable uses two of the official Sesame Street sets, in addition to just a few other pieces, including those tiles you see. So let's go ahead and get started taking a look at this. This is a corner modular building, and on one side you have the home, and on the other you have the storefront. On the home side, you can see we've got the Sesame Street sign, and we've got Oscar's little trash area with some garbage next to him. It's fenced off by this little gate. And up front, you can see the double doors with the little intercom system and the lights above it. This is fairly similar to how it's built in the actual set. It's just kind of changed and made larger to fit with the whole modular. The windows are built to make it look like they are raised and open, and on the roof here you can see I changed it just a bit. It came in a small little UFO build just like the regular set does, and you've got the chimney up top as well as the bird box. Originally that center part of the roof is green, but I did change it to all light gray. On the other side you can see we've got the store here, and you've got all the billboards, you've got the ladder, emergency escape exit, but you do have the little graffiti wall with a little table and chair outside. And you've got the newsstand and the shop, which are again fairly similar to how they're built in the regular set. Just kind of changed on where they are and made a little bit larger. These two buildings are connected. You can see the build style is the same. This is a partial roof that has two AC units on top of it. Reaching from this rooftop to the one above it is a small little ladder that you can have a figure climb up to. The front of this modular really looks good alongside the other official sets and I'm really glad how they kept the same style of build as in the original set so you do get that very cool architectural style build that they went for there and you still get to change it up a little bit so you can use it instead of just displaying it. I do like how both sides of the building are very clean and they are covered up by other modulars if you don't like the way they look. You can see that little black strip there, that little plate, that is actually where I wasn't able to replace it with another color but you can't see it anyway, so it looks fine right there. On the back of the modular, you've got more of the same open windows. You've got a little bird box on one of them. You've got a back door that has a bird perched above it. And this is supposed to be like Big Bird's area, so you've got a little canvas back there. You've got a bed, a mailbox, a picture. You've got all that back there. Again, a lot of this is the same as it is in the official set, so it's nice that they relocated it somewhere instead of getting rid of it completely. Now this modular does come apart in three separate parts. You've got the top portion of the living quarters, you've got above the shop, and then you have just the regular first floor, which is all connected. Inside the store, there's a shelf of different things for sale. There's a picture on the wall and a table and chair, just like the one right outside. And right in front of the shop, you even have that little box that is holding some different things for sale too, like some newspapers. Inside the home are a lot of features that are in the original set, so you've got a little shelf with Elmo's fish, you've got the TV with the cassette tapes, the bed, the train that goes under, the sofa and the phone on the wall. I like how they use those red plates and tiles to kind of fill in the flooring space here to use those extra pieces that they had. And you can see they use the same pictures on the walls as they're supposed to be in the original set and I like how they use them to decorate. There is a staircase that leads to the second floor. You actually have to buy this piece. This is one of the pieces you need to buy beforehand, and it takes you up into the room above the store. In here, there's a shower curtain and a little bath rug, and it does have the bathtub that's in the original set. You can see there's a shelf above it with a little trophy and a rubber duck hanging on the side and a picture inside. I really like how they added a bathroom to this, and it all connects, so you've got the bedroom, the living room, and the bathroom all together. And then not so much a set of stairs, but you do have this small little step right here that does connect to the second floor of the living space. Up those steps is a handrail, and inside that room you can see an armchair. The walls are full of pictures and shelves and toys, and there are three beds all built the exact same way. This room is actually really cool. I like how they filled it with a lot of decoration, a lot of things on the ground and on the walls. The only thing I don't understand is that small little compartment there, the brown one that sticks out of the wall. There's nothing in it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it fills in the space a little bit, uh, but I would switch that piece. Other than that, there's a lot of detail going on in here. It's really cool. And you can see that the roof just sits on top, on top of those little tiles. It's very loosely sat on there. It doesn't stick. What I like so much about this set is that it uses only two of the official sets as well as just a few extra pieces. It doesn't require you to go out and buy a whole bunch of extra pieces. You can build this how you want it. You can even change it if you're not satisfied with some of the things about it. I really like how they did it and managed to make it a modular building that looks really great with the rest of the city. 
If you are interested in these sets and don't know how to use them, I suggest looking up the Sesame Street Corner on Rebrickable and maybe giving this a try if you want to add it to your city. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think down below. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more.